greatly admire what you're doing. I've come to support you and to encourage you. Because uh, what you're doing here at St. Paul's is what has been done in, over many centuries in Britain, make a demand for democratic government. That the laws are made by the people we elect, we can remove them, and if you get a new government, they can make laws and you can remove them as well. So the people at the top have to listen to the people over whom they exercise power. That is what democracy is about. And uh, it's something which uh, we thought we had won because we did in the end, after many centuries, we won the vote first for men and then for women. And in 1948, which is not so long ago, we finally got to one vote, one man, one woman at the same age. And now we live in a world where real power has moved away from the parliaments we elect and is now the real power is exercised by people we didn't elect, can't remove and who don't have to listen to us. And that is the problem that we face and it is a problem that you are dealing with by coming here to St Paul's and it's aroused a lot of uh, interest and a lot of admiration all over the world. But I must tell you how progress is made. When you come up with a good idea like the one you have today, the first thing they do is to ignore you. <laughs> then if that doesn't deal with you, then they say you're mad. <laughs> and if that doesn't deal with you, then they arrest you and put you in jail, which is what they did with the suffragettes. And then there's a pause, and then you can't find anyone at the top who doesn't claim to have thought of it in the first place. <laughs> and that is how progress is made. And it's the way you're doing it. You've drawn attention to the lack of democracy. You're doing it in a way that involves making sacrifices yourself of comfort and food and doing it here. You are being, for, oh, you were ignored, but you can't be ignored anymore. You're now being described as mad or dangerous, and there are, of course, threats against you by the Corporation of London, and you will have to decide what to do about it. Uh, it's not for me to recommend what you should do, because the consequences of what you do will fall upon you yourselves, and you will have to use your own democracy to decide how to deal with those who want to get rid of you. But I just hope that you carry on because I think all over the world there's a great deal of interest in what's happening in St. Paul's Cathedral here now. And uh, while you stick at it, while you keep at it, you give people hope, and hope is the greatest force for social progress and social change. So, well, they're taking their mic away. I don't know. Oh, he said, I've got to speak a bit louder. I thought I could hear myself, so I thought you might be able to hear me too. We can. At any rate, carry on. Go on arguing. Stick up for what you believe in. Don't be put down by people who weren't elected and have no legitimate right to control you. And all over the world, people will say, thank God in London, they're taking a stand. And that's why what you're doing is so important. So good luck. Carry on and you'll find that in the end you will succeed because that is how all progress is made. So carry on, good luck, and all the best. Thank you very much.